Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome. Today we will discuss factorial experiments. Factorial experiments. The word factorials is used when you go for experiment with several factors, each having more than one levels. For example, assume there are two factors. A and B, A with two labels and B with two labels, pictorially we can represent like this. Factor A with level 1 and level 2, factor B level 1 and level 2. So, then this is a factorial design with two factors and in this case you have four experimental settings independent experimental settings one is when factor a is at level 1 b at level 1 that is 1 1 factor a at level 2 b at level 1 this is 2 1 factor a at level 1 b at level 2 that is 1 2 and then factor a and b both at level 2 that is 2 2. <coughs> Other way, <coughs> otherwise also we write that this is low and this is high. So, 1 stands for A values low value and B high value. Similarly, this one for similarly for factor B low and high value. For example, if factor A is temperature and we find that 15 degree centigrade temperature is low and 25 degree centigrade temperature is high, then we can put them as low high or 1 2 instead of writing 15 and 25 degree centigrade. We can write like this, but more <coughs> wide usage 1 2 low high sometimes we use minus 1 and plus 1 also. This is also low is we write minus 1 and high we write plus 1 this is the notation is used. So, minus 1 and this will be plus 1. Suppose the <coughs> uh, that factor B is reaction time then may be reaction time that is uh, low means may be 1 hour and high means may be 3 hours. So, what is low and what is high? that is that will be determined by the expert because the operators the process expert if it is a experiment related to any kind of process. Now, <coughs> here it is a factorial design this design is factorial design having two levels each of the two factors a and b. So, there can be three factors there can be four factors and the label of the factors can be every factor may be more than 2 and that there is no hard and fast rule that A will be with A and B or other factors will be having equal number of labels. Okay. So, if this is the case then we have experimental settings or experimental and where we do the experimental experiment. 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is actually 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4 giving like this. This is first setting, second setting, third setting, fourth setting and now keeping A 1, B 1 means A at low, B at low, you can run the experiment one time two times, three times in number of times, then you will be getting response values depending on the replication one time, two time, three time or more number of times. 
So, what is this y 1 1, y 1 1 2, y 1 3, all these are y values here, response values when you run the experiment here. Or so similarly, <coughs> this, similarly, this, similarly, this. So, <coughs> but it can be something like this A with 1 to A le labels, B also 1 to B labels. <coughs> okay. So, <coughs> there can be <coughs> there can be three factors A with 1 to A labels, B with 1 to B labels, C with 1 to C labels. Suppose, if A equal to B equal to C equal to 2, then the experiment settings will be a cube. So, you have 8 points, 8 experimental settings 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <coughs> and here, this is for simplification, we have used this equal to 2. But suppose in this case, suppose A equal to 3 and B equal to 4, then the, the things will be like this, settings will be A 1, 2, 3, B 1, 2, 3, 4 then your <coughs> number of experimental runs will be here this 1 2 3 then 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so experimental settings here is 12 <coughs> Here experimental setting is equal to 8. So, these are known as treatment combination, exponential or treatment combinations. So, all those are basically example of factorial experiments and pictorial representation is possible when the number of labels as well as number of factors is 3 or 2, 3 or less. Otherwise, we have to use the tabular formulation. <coughs> so, <coughs> what we will discuss today, we will discuss this under this factorial experiments. So, what are the key concepts and then uh, what kind of data you will gather after experiment and what are the hypothesis you will test here and I will show you one example that uh, hypothetical example for factorial experiment with data. So, whatever may be the case if you have two factors, three factors, you can have factor two factors, you can have three factors, you can have k number of factors, k number of factors. Okay. So, few important things are that one is when we have several factors, every factor affect the response y. So, y will be function of factors a, b, c, d all those things. So, every factor might have influence on the observation y as well as the factors may be correlated or they might have interaction effects on y. So, as a result the one of the important concept is called main effect. Main effect means this is basically the effect of changing the fa every one factor from one level to another level primarily from low to high what will be the change in y that change mean mean change okay so change in mean of y change in mean of y 
change in mean response when you change a factor from low to high from factor from one level to another one level to another. For example, if A is having two, two levels suppose what will be if you change from one level that low level which we say minus to high level which we may say plus. So, low to high then there will be change in y. So, this will be y bar minus this may be y bar plus then what is the change? Change in average is y bar plus minus y bar minus this change is main effect. Another one will be the interaction effect. What is this interaction effect? It is something like this suppose you keep both the factors a and b at the same level like 1 1 or 2 2 same level if both low or both high when they are all same level and and they will be at different level when a at low level b will be at high level b at low a will be high level then what is the average change change or change in mean responses when all of the factors are kept at that same level uh, with respect to the factors are at different levels. So, that means the observation here and here will be will be averaged and observation here and here also will be averaged. So, the average of y this minus this will give you the interaction effect. So, in that sense if I want to so, that mean main effect something like this depending on whether it is A or B, but it is basically positive uh, the difference in mean hmm, when they are at high level at low level. So, it can be then interaction effect we can write like this y bar may be both at high different level and suppose I say different level minus y bar same level. So, that will give you interaction effects. So, another important thing is that then what will be the number of main effects? What will be the main effect total number of main effects? It will be if there are k factors main effects will be k. For example, here two factors, so two main effects. What will be the interaction effects? Interaction effects will be k c 2. If there are two factors, then it will be 2 c 2 will be 1. Similarly, in this case three main effects and then you have another concept that in interaction effects one is two way interactions as there are three things every two factor will be interacting and all three factor will be interacting simultaneously. So, three way interactions. So, two way interaction means 3 C 2 find out it will be 3 and three way interaction 3 C 3 it will be 1. So, effectively 3 plus 3 plus 1 7 effect you have to estimate it and here 3 effect you have to estimate. So, if you go for k number of factors, so main effect will be k, 2a will be k c 2, 3a will be k c 3. So, like this k c k last will be 1. So, it will be a large number of effects that is to be estimated. Okay. So, in addition 
in addition to this please remember the replication will also be there in each experimental run or so experimental settings each every treatment combination there will be different different experiment uh, replicated experiments. So, in that case you will be having more than one y value at each experimental settings or at each treatment combination you will be having n number of values. When we talk about averaging we basically ever take sum of all including the replicated values and the other condition whether it is at low or high or at same level or different level and then we subtract. Okay. Let us see one example. So, here we have two factors factor A and B, A at two levels, B at two levels it is denoted by low and high for or minus or plus. So, we are interested to compute the main effects and interaction effects. So, what you require? You require what are the values of response variable when you conduct experiment keeping at the factors at different levels. So, when A at low and B at low then the y value what you or response value you observe is 10 and here we are considering one replication means single replicate n equal to 1. So, then when A at high B at low the response value is 30 and when A at low and B at high response value is 40 and when both are at high level response value is y value is 62. So, what we want? We want to compute the main effect. So, suppose we are interested to compute the main effect of A factor A. In that case what you do? You take the average of response when A at high minus average of response when A at low. So, this is denoted by A equal to y A plus minus A plus bar minus y A minus bar. Okay. So, then the value is 30 plus 60 uh, 2 you see when A at high A at high value irrespective of the presence of B you consider when A at high what are the y values 30 and 62. So, 30 plus 62 by 2 because there are 2 observations 30 and 62. So, this is the average y A plus bar. Similarly, when A at low that is 40 and 10 the average is 10 plus 40 by 2 the difference is giving you a value 21 this is what is the effect of A. What does it mean? If you change A from low to high why you change will be 21. Okay. So, or if, if I say that it is from minus 2 plus means minus 1 to plus 1 the change is 21. So, in the same manner you can compute B effect. So, for B effect when B at high the average will be 62 plus 40 by 2, when B at low the average will be 30 plus 10 by 2. So, ultimately the difference is 31, it indicates that when you change B from minus 1 to plus 1 or low to high the change in Y will be 31 units. Now, come to the interaction interaction A B here you see what is there A B in A B case. So, you are basically considering when they are at high same level minus they are at different levels. So, 62 plus 10 by 2 that is where they are the same levels and then 40 plus 30 by 2 when at different levels. So, 40 plus 30 by 2 so that difference is 1. Okay. So, this A and B the value 21 and 31 and A B 1 these are the effect values A and B are the main effect A B is the interaction effect. If you see the values you find out the A B values are quite high, but A B interaction is very low. So, it can be neglected, but later on we will see how to 
how to do the significant test of all those effects, so that some of the effects will be neglected for further uh, consideration. Now, here what happened? It is basically talking about, so you can see this graph, I can write this graph. So, the, the graph is response versus suppose this side A and this side response. What is response? Response is y. So, A at low or minus to high or plus. Now, consider B at low. When B at low, A at low, the value is 10, y value is 10. When when A high and B low, the value is 30. Suppose this is 30. Then if I join, I will get a line like this, which is B minus. That means, this is a curve B at low, but you are changing A. Now, there will be similarly B plus curve. So, if this is 10, this is 30, let this is 40, when A at low, B at high, Y response is 40 and when both are at high, that is 62. So, something like this, this is 62, you do this. So, this is B positive. Now, these two are more or less parallel and we have seen the A B interaction effect is 1, which is also very, very less. So, if there is no interaction effect, you will find out that when you plot the response values for a particular factor and then keeping another factor at a particular level, you will get parallel lines. Suppose, if there is another level for another level for B, that means, low, medium and high then what will happen? You also get may be similar another plot which is this is low, this is medium and this one is B high. So, there will be parallel lines. So, there is no interaction effects. As we have seen that A if you make it from low to high the response is increasing and that is why this slope is coming. When, <coughs> when there are interaction effects, what will happen? You see the next slide. In this case, again the same fact, both uh, two factors, and you see that ultimately, uh, ultimately the response values are different here. And when you compute the main effect, A is six, B is minus fourteen, and A B is minus twenty four. So, what does it mean? It means that A effect if you change from low to high then 6 units change in res mean response, for B it is minus 14 units change when lowering and for A B interaction every A B interaction that, that combination will give you minus 24 units less. Now, if you this side A and this side response and then what happened it is with respect to B. So, when B at low, this is 30 and 60 and when B at high, 40 and 22. So, that means, here when there is interaction, what is happening? When there is interaction, you will get a suppose A low to high you are making. So, you will find out something like this. something like this. So, the response values suppose this is B minus and this is B plus they will interact and then the A B value that will be quite significant. 
in this case it is minus 24 so it's a high value okay so <coughs> so far then i have talked about two different factors and they are having at two levels minus and plus and so we can say y is function of a and b or in regression mode we can write it is x1 and x2 then we can write down at this one is beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus epsilon now <coughs> is there any relation between the main effects and interaction effects and the regression parameter this is a regression equation when x1 and x2 are purely independent ivs but if x1 and x2 are no x1 and x2 have interaction effects what will happen this y will become beta 0 beta 1 x1 beta 2 x2 plus beta 1 2 x1 x2 plus epsilon so if a is the main effect then it corresponding regression effect is beta 1 b is another main effect corresponding regression coefficient is beta 2 and then a b is interaction effect corresponding regression coefficient is beta 1 2 then what is the beta 0 beta 0 is the intercept this is the grand mean so grand mean is actually represented by beta 0 so as you have seen that you have estimated a b a, a, a b main effect as interaction effects can we get an estimate for the regression coefficient interestingly it is there for example for example if you take this case a is 6 but what is this when you are changing from minus to plus so minus 1 minus 1 mean minus mean minus 1 to plus 1 you are making the change that means 2 unit change in A, 2 unit change in A is represented by the effect change in A makes 6 units units change in change in Y. So, but when we compute regression coefficient that is 1 unit change in x1, what is the change in Y? So, that means if one unit change in y the x that will create that means a by 2 unit change in change in y. As a result beta 1 will be a by 2, beta 2 will be b by 2 and beta 1 2 will be a b by 2 that is what we have given here that is what is given here. So, and here beta 1 2 is very large ok this is minus 12 then here you see when uh, other one that beta 1 is 10.5 and beta 2 is 15.5 beta 1 2 is 0.5 all are positive ok so what will be the grand average here 62 plus 40 102 plus 40 so 142 divided by 4 that what will be the that beta 0 value then for the this case for the first example beta 0 will be 142 divided by 4. So, what is this 4 into 3 22.35.4 what is beta 1 value beta 1 is 21 by 2 that is 10.5 beta 2 will be 31 by 2 that is 15.5 and beta 1 2 will be 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5. Then what will be the resultant regression equation? So, resultant ok this is 35.5 maybe ok. So, yes 35.5 4 into 5. So, see the slide what happened in the first example the regression equation will be y cap 
is the fitted y is 35.5 plus 10.5 x 1, 15.5 x 2 plus 0.5 x 1 x 2. Now, this as this uh, value is very less and uh, later on if we find that that is not significant uh, then this can be uh, this can be a uh, reduced equation will be like this. So, that means it is a linear regression uh, plane and you will when you plot x 1 x 2 versus y you will find out a, a flat uh, play a basically a surface like this. So, here what happened x 1 changing from minus 1 to plus 1, x 2 changing from minus 1 to plus 1, then y changing from different values from y uh, that 20 to so some value may be 10 to 1 whatever the range is available. So, this is known as response surface. Okay. Now, here in the right hand side contour plots given for that mean contour is that equal uh, contour is the basically joining the points having equal property. For example, if you join on all the points on the earth surface having equal altitude that is from mean sea level, then this is a contour line. If you if you connect the cities with equal mean temperature annual mean temperature that is temperature contour line. In the same manner here what happened the contour line is we are basically joining the lines joining the points with equal number of same value of y for different values of x. Essentially uh, you will you may get you for this kind of when there is no interaction effect you will get this kind of lines. This is suppose x 1 and this is x 2 and these are all y values. So, these are all y y values this is suppose y 1 this is y 2 mean what does it mean? Suppose if I consider any point on this line is having a particular y value. Suppose the if, if y is this is 40, then all here also 40, here 40, here 40, everywhere 40. What does it mean? If I consider this point and then make a uh, projection here, then x1 this may be 0, this is minus 1, this is plus 1. So, g this is again minus 1 this may be your 0, this is your plus 1. And if I do like this and this may be 0, this is minus 1, this may be minus 0 0.2. Suppose, if I take a point here, so this is again minus 0 0.2 and this may be 0 0.6. So, that means, if x 1 is the you have a you have a range of for setting x 1 and x 2 or factor a and b. If you want y should be around 40, then this is the this is the line contour line which gives you a range of x1 and x2, and so that you, you can set the machine or the process keeping different values of x1 and different values of x2. Whether you, that means from here to this here, this is the range for x1, and similarly. Uh, this is the range for x 1 and similarly you will find out the range for that minus 1 to plus 1 this the big range this range for x 2. If you if you want y should be around 40 you choose any point here and corresponding x 1 x 2 will give you the upper parameter settings where you will fix. Suppose uh, suppose this this is this is the line suppose this one is 70 and your y is this line is 70 your y is maximum is a, is a higher the better case then you will be interested to to run the upper uh, machine keeping x1 maybe 1 then y x2 will be something like this okay so, this sense the response surface will be understood. Now, <coughs> I will give you 
from example to generalization with a two factor case. So, the data representation for two factor factorial case will be factor A with A labels, factor B with B labels, then and if there are n replication, then your data set will be like this. And then what will be the statistical model? Statistical model will be something like this. We have y i for factor A, j for factor B and k for replication and then this will be having a grand mean plus tau i that is factor A effect beta j factor B effect plus tau beta i j that is the interaction effect plus epsilon i j k. So, this is the general observation this is grand mean this is our factor A effect factor B effect this is interaction A B effect this is your error and I stands from 1 to A J stands from 1 to B K 1 to N. This is known as fixed effect model fixed effect model. You, you may be interested in a mean model, if you are interested in a mean model then what happen the entire thing this will be written as mu i j and then y i j k will be mu i j plus epsilon i j k. This is known as mean model. So, if I say for two factor factorial experiment what is the statistical model fixed effect model is this what will be your role your role will be to estimate all the parameters and then thereafter you test whether this parameter that this model is significantly contributing in explaining the wise variability or not ok so, that we will see later on and, and accordingly, accordingly we test certain amount of hypothesis anyhow. So, for the time being um, we just uh, we, we let, let us see the ex, uh, hypothesis also. So, what happened what the what will the hypothesis hypothesis will be whether the main effects are significant individual main effects significant or not individual interaction effects significant or not. In this case we have two treatment one is row treatment another one is column treatment that is factor A and factor B and also we have interaction A B. So, what we are writing H 0 that there is no difference between the treatment labels row treatment labels and h 1 at least there is one uh, difference. Similarly, for column treatment level there is no difference h 1 there is difference and, and hypothesis regarding treatment interaction. So, there is the treatment effects are 0 uh, interaction effects are 0 for all i j at least 1 tau beta i j not equal to 0. So, these are the hypothesis. So, we are basically we want to test here three kinds of hypothesis one for factor A another for factor B and another for interaction A B. So, if you have k number of factors k factors. So, how many tests you will be doing for all main effects k main effects two way interaction effects three way interaction effects. So, those many effects are there all main and interaction effects including two way to multi way kth way interaction effect all those effects for all those effects you will be basically putting one hypothesis. If there are k factors k hypothesis for main effects and 
then K C 2 hypothesis for 2 way interaction effects, K C 3 hypothesis for 3 way interaction effects like this you have to do. Okay. So, we will uh, see one experiment in the next class and all those things what we have discussed so far how the factorial experiments is developed and all those things. Suppose, if I consider this experiment that the shelf life of a perishable product is dependent on temperature and pressure under which it is stored. So, there are two fact controllable factors temperature and pressure which basically governs the shelf life. Both and <coughs> both pressure and temperature are controllable with three levels each. So, low medium high and low medium high these three levels are chosen within the operating zone it is basically it must be in the operating zone. This define a factorial design with two factors pressure this is a factorial design. Now, let us assume that you have done the experiment and basically you have seen what is actually happening in the store and then suppose when it is temperature pressure at low level low 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 then you have four replication for low medium 4, for low high 4, similarly medium low 4, so 4 replication. Then this is a factorial experiment with two factors, factor A at 3 levels, factor B at 3 levels, self life is the response variable and replication is 4, here the data is hypothetical. Okay. So, when you do factorial experiment depending on the problem and depending on the number of controllable factors that is to be controlled and depending on the on the sample size requirement you will be having the after experiment you will be having data similar to this. So, I hope you understand the factorial experiment and also you know what will be the statistical model for factorial experiment in next class we will be discussing on how to uh, how to see that whether the model is a uh, able to explain the variability of the data using ANOVA and then next to that we will see that how the different parameters of the model will be estimated and followed by the residual analysis or the test of assumptions and other things. Thank you very much.